Hello and welcome to the JFrog How Tools. My name is Sven Ruppert and I will explain to you today how to create Maven repositories. What do we have to th um, think about if you want to have local, remote and virtual Maven repositories. If this is the right one for you, stay tuned. Okay, to create Maven repositories inside our platform, first of all, you have to link, uh, log in. If you don't have access on platform, just uh, check out my how-to about how to activate your free trial. And then you can create an instance for you and you can do all this stuff by yourself to follow up. So after login, first of all, we are going here to administration. So we have these two parts, this application and the administration, inside administration into repositories and then the submenu point repositories. We have local, remote, virtual repositories. Distribution is some kind of repository, but I will not cover it in this how-to. So there will be a dedicated how-to about distribution repositories. But first of all, you need local, remote and virtual repositories. A local repository is a repository inside Artifactory that you want to use for your own deployments and how to create a Maven one. So new local repository, select the type Maven. And then think about a good name. For example, I'm using Maven Local Demo. Um, don't forget to enable indexing and X-ray if you want to have X-ray scanning the content of this repository. And the next thing you should have is inside Advanced. This checkbox here allow content browsing just to make sure that you have access via the web UI to the content and then save and finish. So now we have a local Maven repository we can use. Now we want to connect to a remote repository, for example, JCenter or um, to, to uh, Maven Central. Then we need a remote repository. Again, new remote repository. Choose your type, here it's Maven. A good name, Maven remote demo, for example. The URL you want to uh, use or the, the remote uh, Maven repository URL to, to connect through, then test. Don't forget to enable indexing in X-Ray to have access via to the vulnerability scanning. And again, go to advanced and select allow content browsing. If you need username, password, access token or whatever, you have here the remote authentication uh, menu point and then you can test again. And sometimes it's interesting to play a little bit around with caching uh, numbers here to make sure that this fits to your needs. And then save and finish. It's very convenient to combine different uh, kind of repositories inside a virtual repository. So you can uh, use inside virtual repositories local and remote ones. For example, here I'm creating a virtual repository, new virtual repository, selecting the type, and then, for example, my Maven virtual. After this, you can select here my local demo and my remote demo. These are the two repositories I created just a few minutes ago. And one interesting thing is that inside virtual repositories you can use this virtual repository for deployments as well. And then you have to select a default deployment repository. And here I'm selecting my Maven local one. Save and finish. So now you have a local repository for your own artifacts, connection to a remote repository to fetch stuff from outside and everything is available inside a virtual repository, so under a virtual name. To have access to this one, for example, going here back to application, artifactory and artifacts, we see now the Maven virtual repository. If you are looking inside, there is nothing. If you're going to some, some other repositories, you will have a structure like this one, so you can navigate through. So to set up this Maven virtual repository, you can use, for example, the set me up. Then you will get here the um, snips that you can use for your POM XML. If you're typing in your credentials, then the um, 
authentication stuff is generated as well. And if you want to deploy something, you can use this menu point and then just drop your files here and give some additional information and deploy it. So that's it. Now you have a full functionally uh, Maven repository structure. Um, yeah, try it out and have fun.